Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the error 0x8000 4005 in Windows 11 in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to use the update troubleshooter. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure that system is selected on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find the troubleshoot category and click on it. Now select other troubleshooters and the last thing in here is to press the run button next to Windows Update. Now all you have to do is wait a bit until Windows will diagnose any problems and fix them as soon as possible. Afterwards just restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to check your PC drivers. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure to click on Windows Update on the left pane and then on the right side select Advanced Options. Now in here click on Optional Updates and if you'll see any section that says Driver Updates make sure to choose it and then select all the boxes next to the updates shown to you. And finally just click on Download and Install button to install this latest update. But in my case as you can see there's no updates left. So if you see any updates that needs to be installed, just do them and then restart the computer and check if the issue still persists. Next, another great solution is to start in clean boot. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type msconfig and then make sure to select system configuration from the search results. The next move is to head on to the boot tab and in here, first of all, tick the box next to safe boot. Now what you have to do is navigate back to the general tab and make sure that the selective startup is ticked on. Now the next move is to untick the box next to load startup items and then move on to clicking on the services tab. Now what we have to do in here is tick the box next to hide all Microsoft services and then tap on disable all. And as a last step what you can do is click on the startup tab, open the task manager and from here on disable all the startup items that are not necessary. Lastly just press on apply and ok and then restart your computer for the changes to take place. And then you can check if the problem still persists. And as a final resort we have one more solution and that's to run an SFC scan. To do this press the windows button then type in cmd and then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in the command prompt window make sure to type in the following command. Press on enter and then wait for a bit because this scan will take some time. So don't lose any patience, just relax and wait until the procedure will be finished. And afterwards just restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. However, as an alternative, we highly recommend you to try out Restoro, which is an app that specializes in scanning and repairing any issues with your Windows operating system faster than you think. At the same time, Restoro also repairs damage caused by malware, which is a great plus in functionality. So make sure to check out the link in the description below. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.